Imagine stepping back in time and living like your ancestors. Well, until a time machine is invented, you can take a similar trip here at the National Archive. The historical collection is filled with everything from birth and death certificates like this one to audio and visual recordings. To understand yourself, I think you really should care about your history. Um, to understand where you're going, you should know where you've come from. Um, the National Archive provides you with a door to the past and to come in here to discover all the little nuggets that are, can be found within our historical collection only enrich your future. In terms of the material that we collect, an archive is something that would actually document the history of our islands and its people, whether that be a photograph, whether that be a moving image. We have some records that have a turtle gauge in it, a little piece of paper about this big that have holes in it that tell you, based on the turtle egg, what type of turtle you're dealing with. An archive is also defined as the building or the service itself that actually collects and manages the items. You can gain access to those items by exploring the collection's 4,000 books, countless photos and records, an endless array of newspapers and magazines, and an audio-visual library. Many people trace their family tree or dig up Caymanian roots. The biggest mystery that anybody could actually uncover here is their family tree. We have researchers that come in and they find out, oh, I'm, I'm you know, related to so-and-so, didn't know that before. So we do have records in our holdings that people can actually use, whether it's gaining Caymanian status by finding a birth certificate for their grandmother or grandfather so that they can now become Caymanian, or maybe it is a land dispute. Researchers can spend hours investigating but since the material is priceless, all work must take place inside the archive. Copies are available for a small fee. It'll take you days and days here to go through all the stuff that they got here. And you'll come across things that you're not looking for. Wow, look at this, I found it. That's how it is here. The archives to me, I, I grew up on, with all the old men in West Bay, with all the schooners. And I had some favorite uncles like Captain Allen, and all the old men and I came here looking for them. Some items are damaged, but thanks to a conservator, you would never know. Today I could be working restoring a book, rebinding a book. Tomorrow could be uh, working over original birth certificates, and maybe next week could be redoing a painting or even a photograph. Another product of the archive also breathes life back into Cayman's past. We have over 1,300 hours of audio with interviews from people like Miss Julia Hydes. When did you begin to play the drum? Um, 15 years old. To Mr. Gimel Alexander, who was the lead in an expedition that took place here in 1938. It's called the Oxford Expedition. I had to take the livestock on the Simboco. You couldn't really have snorting turtles. My grandfather, who has been deceased now for years, I can go back and I can hear his voice. I can remember what it was to, to lay in the hammock with him rocking and, and, and be able to, to go back in time just by hearing his voice. Uh -huh. I then came and kept the store for Captain Brody Foster. Worked for him for a year and then I started my own little I can go back to when I was a child driving through Georgetown with my grandmother because there is a video here that somebody just happened to be on vacation or somebody just happened to have a camera and they went through and they just, you know, took video. So when I'm watching that, I can return back to those days when a part of me is now gone, but a part of me will always be because I can see it, I can hear it. If I close my eyes and imagine, I can smell it, I can taste it, I can feel it. Downstairs, a different type of record keeping occurs. The records that we store downstairs is only accessible to the department or the, the, um, the different places that send them here. So it's not actually open to the public. It could be for many reasons, immigration files, people may need to 
fly out on emergency or you may have a land query so you don't really know if it's if it's FOI or if it's just someone needing to request a file for personal information. We are looking into access via the web just for people to be able to understand who we are and the services that we provide but also as a mechanism to showcase our some of our collections. You can add to what's under this roof by donating items from your family's past such as diaries or perhaps letters. You can contact the Cayman Islands National Archive by calling 949-9809. That number again is 949-9809.